our next lab. It's going to be the uh, fluid statics lab. Uh, first thing you need to do is make sure that the uh, the apparatus is completely level, and that's going to be by using the the uh, bubble level right here. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to hang the weight on the end, and as you can see, when it levels out, if we can get it to slow down some. You can see that it's not balanced right now. This has to be completely balanced in order to get the test to, uh, to go through. So we're gonna just turn the weight till we get the bubble in the middle. And you wanna get it as close as possible because the, uh, the closer you get, the uh, more accurate your readings are gonna be. Okay, so after we've got it level, we're going to take the hanger off. We're going to allow the, uh, uh, the Eddie Bond to come up. We're going to add 75 uh, grams worth of weight. And you'll take it, slide it over, let it slide down. And this, is a, this was a, a 50 gram. We're adding 210 grams. And then we're going to add a 5 gram. So now total we've got 75 grams. The weight of the hanger is not going to be important because we already had it, it zeroed out. So now we're going to set it down. And as you can see, it's, it pulls the, uh, the whole uh, apparatus around. So what we're going to do is now we're going to take the water and we're going to increase it until we get back to a level point. You're going to continue to add the water and as you can see the bubble is starting to move over and you want to just add enough water to where the, uh, the bubble is level again. Now you see I slightly went over and I did that intentionally to show you that right here is the drain. So you can just slightly overfill it, let the drain come out and once you have it level, shut the drain back off and you'll get your reading from the side. And right here you can see that it's showing 60 mils. So uh, that will be our first recording. The next thing that you'll do is you'll remove the weights yet again. This time we'll be adding 150. So we have 100 grams right here. Load it, add another 50 onto it. Once you have it locked in place, we'll set the weight back down rebalance the arm and we'll take our measurements and it, once again from here it's just a matter of leveling it back out uh, draining off a little bit of the water to get the level back down and that is all there is to that first part okay this is the third and uh, final step for the statics and what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece of metal and as you can see it is not uh, perfect cylinder. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take the overall height measurement, take the height of the first cylinder, the height of the second cylinder, and then you're going to have to add in the volume of the truncated cone. Once you've got all those measurements, you should be able to get the full volume of the, uh, of the piece of metal. Next what you're going to do is you'll put it on the scale, you'll record the measurements, and as you can see, this is, is standing outside of the water. So this will be uh, the natural weight, okay? After that, what we'll do is we'll put it inside the tank of water, make sure that it's fully submerged, and then you'll take the weight again and see what the difference is. And with those calculations, you should be able to calculate the buoyant force of the piece of metal and the, uh, the fluid holding it up.